For those of you just joining this playlist, we, we're talking about building record types. Uh, and if we look at this, uh, just want you all to see this description can be a rich text. So we're going to see that in a later step. But this is how you'd actually change record types. So I've got two record types now. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, and remember, we're going to we're using record types because you have a different sales process. I've also built out a path for this, which is why you're seeing it here. And then um, you, you also can identify layouts that you want to associate with a record type. And then you can also modify pick lists of which the uh, sales process is a, is a specific type of a pick list. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to our object our um, edit the object because we're going out to opportunity and we want to go to uh, record types uh, within the opportunity you can see we have two just what so you see it here's the full description um, and then if we go in on a specific record so in this case we're going to look at, at this record type one um, know that this is all the information then you can edit after the fact so you do get to go after the pick lists. Uh, you can change your descriptions, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's it's relatively limited. You do get to um, change your, your page layouts uh, from the record type, which is good to see as well. Um, but let's go on ahead and, and click New and go in on a new record. Um, and so I've started filling it out. What I'm doing is, is because we're cloning, I'm going to use record type 1. Uh, but I could use either the master. Uh, or record type two, whichever would work, doesn't, uh, and then I'm going to create a name that works. This is just type three for me. Um, the uh, the record type is just an API, and then for sales process, I could pick any process. Um, I, I'm let's just use sales process three, which we built in an earlier step, and then uh, I've just built, you know, again, you build out a description that works. Um, kind of, you want to be kind of careful. You want to, you don't, you don't want to make this thing active until you're happy with it. So you can always get back in, as we saw, and and and, and activate um, as a next step. So uh, then we have is the chance to enable profiles. So we can talk about which profiles. Uh, we're gonna, so let's just say I'm going to make this available for everybody, or I could be selective. In the same way, I can make this a default for everybody or I can be selective. And what that's going to say is as they create a new record, uh, this would be the type that would uh, that would pop up for them. And again, in an early video, we talked about how to change these profiles if you need to within for each role. Um, so at this point, I, I've got what I need. I can go down and click Next. And then I'm going to work on my layout, right? Um, so I'm going to say here, which layout do you want to use? Now, I in it, I, I should have uh, built out, if I were doing this production, I'd build out a, a let's just call it a, a, a layout three or layout whatever. Um, and then what I would be saying, I can apply this layout to all profiles, or I can apply a different layout for every profile. Boy, you can think about the complexity that's going to create. But the idea is, is that if you need to, you can build out specific layouts by profile, by record type, um, and a record type by profile. And then I'm going to say save. So at this point, right, I've, I've given everybody access to layout one. And so I'm going to save it. Uh, what that's going to do is to, uh, to make it available. Um, I've now got record type three. I can go in and edit if I need to to make it active, or I can edit other pick lists related to this record type. Uh, and then uh, what I can do is to, if I go back out, and let's just say I do a refresh here, and what I want to see is what happens, right? So I'm going to look at my, change my record types here, and I now have a third record type. Um, so we've we've done what we needed to do. Now the, the one kind of full disclosure piece I want to make sure y'all see is is that I did go out and uh, this is in my security settings session settings. I uh, I had disabled this secure and persistent browser caching. Um, so you might want to turn that back on to make sure that you're uh, going as fast as you can. Thanks for watching. I'm going to add one more video talking about pick lists and record types.